see her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Surprise. Welcome to the Alice show. <laughs> This is, <laughs> is so easy. I should have done this more than I did Hi. I feel like it's so relaxing. <laughs> I'm Alice, and we're here at the board game basement. We sit down. With Ghosty. You've got to do it better than that. Um, no, I'm not. I, that, is, that is my cute enthusiasm. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. With Ghosty and um, the usual. The usual. the usual director, AZ. Just can't get the help you need. Hello and welcome to the board game basement with me, AZ, Ghosty and Alice. Who's Hi, Ghosty's really? mate for this evening? But she will all, she'll be doing running our little show. She's wondering why is he on this side? We thought we'd mix it up. How very strange. But um, previously we had a bit of a discussion about um, different sorts of adventure games, games that were cheaper. And we came across um, Legendary Kingdoms, Valley of Bones. Mm -hmm. um, by Spider Mind Games, and we gave that a two thumbs up. We really enjoyed it. Spider Mind, not Spider Man. Yeah, I said Spider Mind. I know, I know. It's just your accent. Yeah. Sometimes I it sounds like Sp man. I did say not Spy mm -hmm. Spider Mind. I mean, it's a good game, but Spider Mind um, is the ones that do this. When we spoke briefly about Legacy of Dragon Half, um, Dragon Legacy of Dragon Half by Fantasy Flight Games, very well remembered as you can see, and. Um, there was a lot of thingy about, you know, this, is this a board game? No, by rights. But Does this it classes itself as a board game. And yeah, you know, there were, so we said we had a lot of interest about what we thought of this um, in general. So we thought we'd do a review on comparing both things, a comparative review about, you know, what we think of both of them. We're going to focus more on Legacy of Dragonhold, just because we reviewed this already. But we will refer back to this as we, could do, as we go along, just for comparison's sake. And then at the end, um, we'll give a little what, what we think. But how I wanted to do this, Alice has um, played both of these with me, sort of, with sort of reading them and doing it. And I've been playing along as well um, in Legacy of Dragonhold. Um, and it was really, I wanted to know what she thought, because that's, that's what it's about. I've been, I've been playing these sort of things for quite a long time, but it was really interesting. I knew. You know, you knew, I know, you not even be. lived. I like, lived. Lived a pointless existence. Um, I, I read interactive story games where you choose your choices. That's on the apps. I don't know if I should admit to that. No, you shouldn't. No, no. no. <laughs> no, no. Choose what you want to do. And I always choose the, the right thing. I ne I'm never a baddie. I can't do it. That's fine. You can be who you want to be. You can be exactly who you want to be. Yeah, but if I can't be a baddie in imagination world, where can I be a baddie? In, you can't have Legacy of Dragonhold, that's for sure. No. So Legacy of Dragonhold um, came out a while ago. I don't know if I remember when. A good few years ago. Um, and it's by Fantasy Flight Games. Again, production-wise, all their stuff is always top-notch. Very big company. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was nice to see them bringing out something that was very story based and orientated and it used a new system. I think it's got the Oracle system or something bizarre like that. Um, where you design a character, you are given a a sort of basic sheet that gives you a character creation, very much inspired by Dungeons and Dragons and things that you have your normal usual races elves dwarves etc um they have a certain set of skills you get to choose your class and you get to put yourself in the game legacy of dragon hole even you are a band of adventurers you can play this game multiplayer you can play it solo i think it goes up to six does it yeah it oh, does it does well, it's not like... but it does oh. it does um it would still work wouldn't it no you wouldn't. not at all but we play this game obviously, it was just me and I. So in this one, um, I was able to make a character, Alice made a character, and, what was my name? and we both played through it. What, what in there? Tensho, was yeah, it? Tensho, yeah. Tensho and Elf, and I was. Um, it's Heavenly Nymph in what Japanese. Was that? I can't remember. You see, you didn't even pay attention. I can't remember my own. Mine was Larping Zebrig, and that, that was, was a dwarf. <laughs> you even gave yourself a surname, I was just like, yes. I was like, Cher, I have one name. <laughs> Madonna. But, <laughs> yes. wait, um, so there was so there's a, there's a definite difference first off straight away in legacy of dragon hole you get to create your character and pick everything about them design what you want in legendary kingdoms you get to pick characters that you would like to be in the game but they are pre-made characters um there's a selection of about six and i think you pick four isn't that right out of them isn't it you yeah, pick yeah. four out of six um so you do get to select who you want in this but they're pre-made uh, and done 
with Legacy of Dragon Holt, you are reading a narrative and you are going along and um, it doesn't really explain how you met, but you're on a quest to, you, you've received a letter from somebody who needs your help. The letter's a little bit bizarre and doesn't really replicate that person who you know very well. Um, suspicious. It's a suspicious letter, but you're going to go and try and help them nonetheless and that's where it starts. And you go on a merry adventure and you read the book, pretty much like the same thing, you move from page to page selecting what you want to do uh, and that'll take you to a different page. You have a skill set with your character and with the skill set in you know like it'll be like archery or arcana or investigation or something. If you have a certain skill when something comes up it can take you can use it and it'll take you to a different page and you can read that bit because you've used that skill. If you don't have that skill and none of you do you kind of read another bit and then something else happens. But the narrative progresses along Nonetheless, so straight away, we you, there's there's big differences between the two books. Mm. With Legacy of Dragonhold, you are just reading. You, you don't need to add anything to it, no. do you? Really, the story is very well fleshed out. There's mm. you, there's no need to add anything. You are reading a very structured narrative, um, that flows. And you, you, you just you just go along, don't you? There's no there is no gaps, is there, that you no, think no. Um, that you don't need to do. You don't feel like you've got to fill it out no. or add anything. You don't at all. Mm. Main issue with the game is you create a character. We both created a character. Mm -hmm. We're in the game, but mm -hmm. we're not in the game. Oh, what, what do you mean? As in, we're never re referred to in the game. But I think that's otherwise they don't know what your name no, is, exactly. and they they don't. No. But do you not think that that, for me, when I, when we're reading when we're reading along, the difference between these two things when I'm reading, mm. and even though I haven't created the characters that are in this one, I know those characters. Yeah. And I when they mention them and they mention something happening to that specific character, it fleshes that character out more, and they become more yeah. alive, don't they? Like we've met, um, <clears throat> uh, what's his name? What's that Japanese ch chap's name? Akihiro. Akihiro. We met his family, didn't we, in that town? Oh, that up. was yeah, heartbreaking, it was sad, wasn't it? Yeah. But it added that bit of we felt exactly we felt sad for yeah. here, didn't we? Does that do we feel sad for us? In well, this? we've not got as far with this one though, so I don't want to judge this one too quickly. No, but we will never be referred to in this one. No, we'll I suppose not because they don't. Know we'll who we never meet our to. family, and we'll never be able to. We're getting on with the story. Um, yeah. So you don't get that background. You don't get that background. And the character no. sort of progression. You're, you are reading a book, essentially. Yeah, but reading the book, but not really reading the book, because in the <clears> book you <throat> get a character. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. But there are characters in there, and we're, we're walking along and we're meeting people that we know, oh. and we're doing things that make it definitely, with it being so fleshed out, makes you feel like the story's good. Mm. Yeah. We, you know, we, and the, this isn't just pages. This is books of different adventures that you might go and separate it into different parts it's you've got cards in there you've got letters that you find that you actually read there's uh, there's physical things that there's you like are props. holding there's props yeah. in this full props to the story which add mountains to it when you mm. find it we found a random badger thing um we won't give it away what happened but anyway we found didn't know what this thing was at all but it turned out that it was quite useful for something or somebody like and, on, and it ended up being quite quite good wasn't it it was yeah. a moment where we were like oh my goodness like how good Help is that yeah exactly <laughs> so the fact that you had this prop and then you got to use it mm. and then it actually made sense was brilliant you've got a huge map of this place that you were in dragon hole um with storybook adventures no matter what they are if any of you have played um Adventure League things and they've got thousands of books you get to a certain point and then everything becomes really <laughs> boggling and it's kind of like there's a structure up into a point and then everything goes Psh! and they're trying to they're trying to implement a sense of non-linear adventure where they want you to go out and do what you want to do that's good if you're making that up on the fly but you I think there's only a certain amount of things like Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinders that you can ever try to be before it becomes silly. 
with Legacy of Dragon Hall, they have a book which is all about the town of Dragon Hall when you're in there. And then when you go on different adventures, there are different books. That helps Miles, doesn't it? Because it keeps everything you're doing together. Do you not think? I know what you mean. You yeah. know when I'm reading this one to you, how oh, much am I flicking from Okay, what? so the last time we read that was a bit of a nightmare, it's wasn't painful, it? It was painful, wasn't it? And I don't know whether it's because we'd just gone from reading this and we thought, oh, we'll read a bit of that. No, I think it's just because we're opening the adventure. We're, be we're becoming, yeah. we've got out of that prison, we've, we've, There's we're now, tr options, we've got lots it? of options and it's, we, we, we have no guidance of There's what no we're doing. no offence to the guys that wrote this, by the way, but it was painful. <laughs> it was because we were just, and, and was, I write down what, what yeah, there was no chosen. structure to what we would do. Obviously, you come across certain things and people will give you a quest. Yeah. And then you stick to that quest and you do it. That's how these work. We were just at a point where everything we were doing was not really what we were supposed to do. <laughs> we, were, we wandered around for so long. We get back to see. Yeah. We, we <laughs> went in circles for so long. Day. And then eventually we came across something that gave us something. But by that point we were like, well, what have we just been doing for an hour? Um, yeah. This doesn't do that because it has a timed system, which is clever. Oh, yeah, I was just about to say that. That doesn't it's have clever. any time passing. No. So with this, you it tells you time's yeah. passed. So you have to mark that yeah. on your sheet. Whereas this, you don't get that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, have we been here days? Yeah. <laughs> Months? And sometimes you don't need to know how long you've been doing something. It's an important really. You can just make that up in your head if you want to. But for um, keeping control of a game, it's a very, very good mechanic. And I think that they, they thought about that for this because they thought, how do we let people do what they want to do? But also, after a certain period where they might be doing things that are a bit odd, do we say, OK, now we're going to put you back on the right mm -hmm. path? That's what those day, the day and night thing does on this one. If it's night time, yeah. you can't go to the bakers. If it's night time, you can't go and visit the library. It's not open. If it's night time, you can go down to the pub. And, do you know, it, it, it keeps things, it lets you do things at the right time. And it also... A little bit more realistic that way, though. Yeah, it, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And then it will say, if it's the end of this day, read this bit. Like, something happens, which then puts you back on the story path. I like that, because it gives you freedom, but it also keeps things moving. When stuff stagnates, you, all, you only end up with people that are irritated. And... If we hadn't have got anywhere at the end of this one, we'd have been irritated. <laughs> we would have been irritated. Yeah. And Because um, we were already having to backtrack. and think, We were just going back. Yeah, we were just backtracking. Yeah. And with yeah. with these sort of games now, there's no need to have to backtrack back and forth. Like, it goes back to kind of playing any game, really. I mean, remember playing, you know, Grand Theft Auto, where your mission was to go to one place speak to someone who would then ask you that they need a letter from the place that you've just been to to then go back to the same place you've just been to to go back and deliver that letter to them i don't want to do that no one wants to do that that's pointless in real life you won't want to do that no that's pointless because you're just wasting time it's like filler isn't it and you don't want to feel like there is filler um and there was a little bit of that while we were playing it felt like there was a bit of this filler go back go forth go back go forth which we, we can't give that a... We stopped at the point where that could have happened. So we don't know if when we go back that way, something else happens because we're coming back that way. Yeah. In which case it's fine because it, we're meant to do we'll that. Take it back. Yeah, but we're not... So we're not saying that that does that, but when you are wandering around trying to find out what you're doing, going back and forth, it's easy to get lost. This keeps you on the straight and narrow, but allows... For, excuse me, allows freedom. I felt I had a lot of pointless options in that. Do you know what we picked think? it? I think, I, I feel like we chose a few things. It was like, well, that was pointless. We didn't really get anywhere with that option. But do you not think with this one, our options are our own? As in, with this one, you have to be careful what you do because you have, a, you, you know, for instance, we had a choice of... We had to poison some people. I know, very horrible. There was a really good reason we had to do this. They're very horrible people. We had, and you know, we could either try and fight our way in. We could try and distract them. We could dress up as them. We could do a lot. There's like loads of these things, um, and it doesn't tell you how that. You just have to sort of think in your head. Okay, what is our team good at, and what would get us there? And we decided we were going to dress up as servants and try and sneak our way in, because we thought that would require us to be more 
Um, Stealthy. No, it was Stealthy. Um, charismatic because we had to pretend to be servants, didn't we? Mm. So we decided to do that. But we needed a certain amount of successes to roll to, for that to happen. Yeah. And that was our choice and our risk. And when that paid off, we went, because we did it by one dice, didn't we? we oh, like, oh my, my rolls that night were so bad. Yeah. yeah was going to say that. But we like, did it. And it feels good, doesn't it? Because you, if we hadn't yeah. have done it, we'd have been like, oh my goodness. You, yeah, like, yeah you, I give that. You don't mm. get that in this game. You don't get that. Well, there are no dice in this game. No. <laughs> so you there's, don't there's no that. dice in this game. There's no, no risk in this game. There's no... The, you just have abilities and that's it. And but why? it all depends on what abilities that you've chosen. Well, it does. So do you remember I thought that I picked... What was it I thought I picked? Oh, I can't. Know. Yeah, I really good at that, didn't I? I kept on thinking I picked it and there were certain things that came but up it, and I was like... But, but it doesn't matter though, does it, really? It but doesn't matter. It does when you think it could be handy in that situation. But it's not, though. But I'm sure there's other situations that are going to come up where I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not, because the, I think there's only been one situation where neither of us have had something that we could use. Yeah, one. that's true. You know, the, it'll say, well, in this know. one, it'll say, if you have Arcana, go to this page. If you have fighting skill, go to this page. Um, Agility. One thing that is bizarre about this game and I don't know how nobody picked this up. No, they, they picked this up. They, there's no way anybody could be that retarded. They, they say this game is for six people, okay? Absolutely fine. You can all sit in a group with your characters and pass around a book and read, and then one person gets to do an action. If you've used your action, you can't do an action again until everyone else has had a go. Fine, perfect, that's that's a perfectly legitimate thing to do in a game. Except this game always refers to the same person. So in a fight, for instance, Alice got into a fight with somebody yeah. because they snuck up behind her. Mystically, I was supposed to teleport into her body or be her to then do the next action to avoid mm. the attack that was going for her. That didn't make sense. Made out zero sense. Did we misunderstand that? Zero sense. No, 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 it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Because <laughs> it's, that, it's happened to us a few times. It refers to one person in the story all the time. That doesn't work for how this game is meant to sell. Because we were saying, if you're in a situation in real life, okay, and something happened, if I had a skill or a weapon or something, I would then go forward and use that. I wouldn't just be like, no, it's yeah, not me. I mean, <laughs> you deal with it. <laughs> even if that was... Because if you wanted to play, make a multiplayer game, which is fine, you need a certain set of boundaries. And if that was the boundary, fine. If you've had... Because you don't want someone to be uh, the quarterback and be saying what everyone wants to do or being somebody that has all the skills and can do everything. It needs to be shared. I completely agree with that. But... When you make, when you make a game and you don't put anything in there to say this is, this is referring to the same person, so we're like an asterisk or something that means we're talking about the same person still. That person needs to use another skill, mm. not somebody else. It made no sense, and we were in the middle of a battle that was. They described this battle it. really well, like it was really well written, wasn't it? Oh, like yeah, it, it was and it was so good. good, and it was really I'm into our seats. yeah, it was really tight, but it. It made no sense going back and forth, so we stopped, we we scrapped that rule because it, it just kept spoiling it for us, didn't it? Like it it just didn't make any sense why, in a fight that I was in, Alice would then have to pr defend herself. The, the guy's fighting me, like no, what? Yeah, was, That's yeah. that was bizarre, and I don't really know why that why that wasn't adjusted in this game. I'm, that it, it, like it it, it is poor, poor. It is poor because. Nobody could not have picked that up. And if you wanted to make a game that was solo, say it. Don't pretend that it's multiplayer because there's no need for it. All, all that would have needed is somebody going through it and going at these points we're referring to the same person. So that yeah. person needs to use another skill. That's all it would have needed. And it's not in there. Yeah. Why? Or like you say, or in the rules. To yeah. say, and this has been reprinted a few times, so... Yeah, but they upped the quality of a few. I've seen this when it was first out and um, now, and stuff's a lot better in it. Like they, they tweaked mm. a few different things to make it better, but they're not just at that. Okay. Yeah. Which is which is weird because this is a good game. 
again it's, it's really a really lovely it. story yeah. it's not as graphic as this one by any stretch of the imagination this is more fantasy based your normal kind of fantasy is it not going to get more graphic no, i don't think it is but we're enjoying it the flat the fight scenes are really good you know they're not by any means blase but they're not you could read this with kids easily um, and it would be quite fun there's a bit of gore in that one there is there, there, yeah, there is we did we did say there was did a bit we? of gore in this one and this is like i think it says 12 or something we did there. say that we don't think there's any raunchiness in it but however <laughs> we did see a photo in there that was we don't know that we, we don't know there's raunchiness we've come illustrations across, we've come across no raunchiness so far but we'll adjust it if we do so gripe wise for that one that that's a gripe on its own really in if you're playing this multiplayer, more than what I would suggest play play two player or three. If you play, if if you have have one reader who can also have a character, um, and just let people just go around asking who wants to do something, but don't limit it to one person being able to do something because it makes no sense. It it actually doesn't make any sense. No, no, it doesn't. Like 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 Alice was saying, you you're a team, a small team. Why all of a sudden would you not do something to help? Um, it is in nine times out of the ten, someone in your group will have something that will help. So if you are running this game or the reader of this game <coughs> or passing it around, however you want to do it, you can easily keep track of how many, how many, how much stuff someone is doing and ask ask somebody, what do you want to do, or or go around like that in a fair way. And if that person says, I can't do anything. You know, you can go on to the next person. There's anything you could do to help, like make it thematic, um, because you're reading. You're reading a story. You're not reading this. It needs to be a challenge. And we we both fell down a hill and got maimed, didn't we? <laughs> got, got, yeah, we fell down a hill and got injured. So the, you know, the game isn't easy because you start on quite a low health and you you, and you get depleted quite easily. So it's not it's not an easy game. But at the same time, you want to get through it and you want to read it and you want to have fun. So don't overcomplicate it no, I don't at all read it and have a have a good time reading it because like I said it's well written um, you've really enjoyed haven't you the, the, this one I've really enjoyed the, re enjoyed reading it apart from like I say the bizarre I, yeah, rule I really bit enjoyed it. I think the props for me make it the fact that you don't yeah, have to fill it out as absolutely. much I feel like I know more of what's going on in this story than I do in that story yep I agree I agree because again this one requires you to fill out this um, I enjoy doing that, so it's okay for me. Yeah, and you're really good at that, which is good. Yeah. But if you had somebody that wasn't that like, confident in doing that, or they just literally didn't know you had to, you'd be like... But you could still play it without that. You wouldn't need it. There's enough in there to keep going. Um, but it is a lot better if you do flesh it out and you make it your mm. own. And that does make it fun. Like, how did we get from A to B? I'll always ask and I'll make something up. And it just, it just, really adds, it. It just <laughs> adds that flow to the game. Yeah. Um, but lots of people are good at that, especially who like these sorts of games. And mm. if you've got a group, you can go around as a group and make things up. It's just nice. Um, the only thing is, this is thick. Like, look how thick this is. This is um, bear in mind, I binded this because I couldn't couldn't get hold of a copy. But flicking from one side of the book to the other is such a pain. And why? Do, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't it's know because why. this book represents one book in a big series. Okay. There's going to be more of these, and this is just one. So this is yeah. one about the Valley of Bones. Mm. We once we finish this, I, I, we're going to keep all our characters, and then we'll get the next book, and all our characters will go into that book with all their skills, everything we've got will mm. go into that book. So unlike this one, you can't separate what happens in each bit to different books. That would that you you just have so that, many tiny books, it would be stupid. You go from the front of the book to the back of the book, depending on what you I know choose. What you're I don't get that. Like, I know what you're saying. Because I think they just use some sort of algorithmic okay. thing where they write down everything and then put it into a thing that mixes it up okay, and creates it. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone knows how they generally yeah, do, please could. tell you me. Please tell us. That'd be interesting. Because I, I know, but I'm presuming that's how they do it. I mean, it hurts my head even thinking about it as well. But, but <laughs> flicking from you know page one hundred to page one thousand and something, and then having but, to go back to yeah. two hundred. I would definitely recommend writing annoying. down the options that you do because at first we. It does tell that. you to do that, by the way. Oh, it, it? Yeah, it oh, does actually say. It, yeah, I know we do, but it does actually say to do that, and so does so does this yeah. one. But there isn't as much to search through on this because they split them up into into lots of books. I don't I don't know why I'm hold, hold, hiding this like it's some sort of myth. <laughs> I could actually just show you. But yeah, so there's a journal that we found, and I won't spoil anything what's in it. You've got the map of Dragon Heart, and then all the books that you get are all split up 
into these lovely, they're all little individual adventures that you go on. Um, and it makes it easy to read because there's less to go through. Um, really good quality as well. Oh, brilliant, yeah. yeah. I mean, production quality is fine. And fantasy, you wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything less from them. And they have gone through, like I've said before, and they've touched bits up um, and made a little, made a little bit, things a little bit better. Why they, which is why I'm more frustrated. Why they didn't have that rule about the the one, the, one, the, the speaking about one person thing? I mm, that don't know. I don't know why that's why that isn't in there. It's really bizarre. So our main thing we wanted to do this was really about what makes a board game automatic. Okay, now I'm not the person to ask about no, this, I am, am I? Good. Well, because I'm what not. What did you feel okay. when we were playing both of these? Did you feel different about each one? Did you think this this is more of a board game than that one? Did you ever think okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, honestly, I felt like both of them yeah. were different to any other board game that I played. Because okay. I don't think that these two would technically be classed as board games. Okay. And well, why is that? <laughs> because there's no board. Because there's no board. <laughs> there's no board. But it, it's still a game. It's just a different type of game. Okay. And I think it's more like a storybook game than it would be classed so as a board game. If I told but you that, matter. if I told you that... You don't have to have a board to be a but board. But why game. is it in the name? There are many board. There are many games that don't have boards, that are board games that class themselves as board games. What I'm, okay. what I'm trying to say is here. that. Did you feel like if if you didn't know if I hid these in a box or whatever and pulled mm. one out and they're both in both in plain boxes and pulled them out and played them and I said, one of these games is a board game, one of them isn't. Would you be able to guess which one it is? I would say. They both feel like games. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> they both answer. feel like that's games. But, I mean, I suppose a dice maybe makes that one. For me, mm -hmm. as an experienced gamer, yeah. I can say that. That yeah. feels more like it's got the, yeah. you know, I agree. attributes. 100%. I completely agree. Playing this feels like more of a board game to me. Because you do have luck and that's... that's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you also have choice. And... A lot of people don't moan about luck in board games, but that's when you're trying to win. That's when you're, or, or you're more interested in being able to limit the luck to manipulate your own, to ensure your own victory or how you want things to go, whatever. When you're playing as a group, I think luck is important. I think choice and risk and passion are so important to a game because you do it together. You make that choice together you argue together and say oh, we don't want to do this and someone goes now let's do it and you know you have those moments and they're the they're the moments that you want in board games that's why we play them we don't play them to walk off and hate each other at the end of it and grumble we play them to, to go you know a few days later when we're drinking coffee go I can't believe you did that <laughs> you know and then that's why that's why we play these and um you feel part of something I wish I could pick up these, have the power, and I wish I could squish them together to create some sort of. Some I mean, hybrid. Well, yeah, hopefully baby. not like station from. From. Um, oh god, I haven't the film now. What it is? I'm even referring to Bill and Ted. We don't want something as grotesque as that, but. I think I've seen that. It's these two little things and they they merge together, and they create this big thing. It's, uh, she's never seen Bill and Ted. Who hasn't seen Bill and Ted? Anyway, um, I, w I wish I could because I know they didn't want to go for it. They wanted to have a new system without dice, without anything like that. But I'd have liked the choice in this game. I'd have liked the options and the risk. I'd have liked to have been able to say to Alice, your arcana's good, but my fight's a little bit better. So shall I roll these? And do this now. What and have the option to boost your thing? Yeah, or, or something like that. So to give me a reason to say I'm not going to do this, you do this. Like because okay. it, this there isn't that. You, there is just I have this, you have this. Do you want to do it or do I want to do it? It doesn't make yeah. a difference, who does it? Like there's no. As long as you have it, that you is it. You can do it. <laughs> Whereas in this we have it, but it still does not mean that we're going to be good at it. Which and is I a, like that. Yeah, a realistic. I like thing, that because it? we you put forward your character for a risk to do a job uh, you don't know the you don't know what it might require you don't know the outcome of it and when it fails 
it's funny, or you can blame that character, and you can pretend the others are having a go at them, or whatever, or something seriously bad happens to the character, and you're like, oh my god, I've just, got one we've just killed gets, him. He gets absolutely mick taken out of yeah, all but the it's time. Fun. But that's because he... Who and is? I think if they had that in this, it wouldn't be as important that you weren't in the game, that they didn't refer to you personally. I think if that had more of a taking part element to it, you... Um, you, you would f you would feel more part of it because you were actively doing something, not just saying, I have this, I can do this. Mm. So I wish I could squish them together. Ball game wise, I don't think there is any reason that this cannot class itself as the same as that, personally. Mm. I think production wise, they've done an absolutely magnificent job with this game. Story wise, again, magnificent. If this and this could be squished together, and they put the production effort and the story effort into this with their gameplay element you would have something very very special so if you could get props in this because obviously you do get items and things as you go along so if you could get props in that would mm. that make it better for you then do you think I don't, I don't think i think like i said less is more sometimes so it's not just the props that make it they've used the props in this correctly that's mm. why they work because they could be useless but mm -hmm. they're not and you know when we found our props we were like well but then it made sense and it yeah. was good so there is, you, you have to think about what you're using. And this game isn't trying to be a board game. You have to remember that it isn't advertising itself as that. And I'm not saying that they should do that What's it advertising at all. Itself as? Just a game book. A game, a game book. Yeah. It's called game book. Yeah. You know, and by every right, they've done a magnificent job. But they've changed, you know, changed it up. They've given us the dice to roll. They've given us this extra element. Um, and I think it's fair to have this sort of comparison, especially when we're in a board gaming world as it is where things again are we're amping up now we're, we're upping this thing a level we're not sticking with it we're, everything's got to go up a notch or at least have the ability to say we're going to be in good standing for this position and we deserve to be in this position and i like to say that they've earned that they that things have earned what they have gone at set out to do you don't have to be number one on board game geek by any stretch of the imagination you don't but if you achieve what you set out to do, you can give yourself a massive pat on the back because that is difficult to do. It's difficult to do correctly and it's difficult to get people to, to say, I enjoyed that. You have the vision, doesn't mean you execute it well. Yeah, <laughs> it isn't. And there's a lot of pressure now. You know, these designers, everybody is under so much pressure. Um, Kickstarter has its merits and its flaws and pressure is one of them, um, especially the pressure it puts on other um, retailers that want to sell their games so for me these two games have every right to be played and enjoyed um, so mm. overall would I say that Legacy of Dragonhold is a bad game no would I recommend it absolutely I really yes. would I really would me too it can be hard to get hold of randomly um, it comes in and out of print as they decide to change it but I think most fantasy flight games do um, but you can get hold of it if you do, definitely have it. It's one for the shelf. It's one to read to your kids um, and enjoy. You can enjoy it with a D and D group or something like that. If you've got nothing to do and you just want something to fill your time, mm -hmm. um, you can make that little tweak to enjoy it. The only the only reason I've grumbled about it is because I just don't know why they didn't do it. I think it's just lazy. So that's my only gripe with that. Um, it's up to six players as well. So legally, you can meet up outside with people and read this. <laughs> yeah, you could. You could. I'd like to see how many how many people would say this. But I just put it on Facebook and see what they think. Mm. Your fancy is sitting outside and reading Legacy of Dragonhold. But it's a lovely game. I'd like to see them do more. I don't think they are doing, but I would like to see them do more, um, especially in different settings. Uh, different themes. Yeah, I, love that. I think it's great. Yeah, load. You could do this in any genre. Same like I said for this, you could do these in any genre. Do some vampires and werewolves. Yes, yeah, anything you want. <laughs> It'd be, it wouldn't be really cool, wouldn't it? It would it actually be so cool. cool, like anything, space, whatever yeah. you wanted to do, you could do it. And I'd yeah. like, to, I'd like to see do more of this, refine it a bit more, make it a bit more of a game. Add, add a few, you get some dice and add a few elements to it, um, and do it. Other games have tried to do it, small on a smaller scale. You know, we did a review of. Um, the dark cell. I think up there, go somewhere. Hiding away. I can't remember now. Last I know, game. that's fine. Right. Yeah, don't know where it is. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere. 
you know. Escape the Dark Castle, that was it. Um, Escape the Dark Castle or Escape the Dark Star, whichever one. They've tried to do that, make a little dice rolly adventure game thing. Um, and it doesn't really work because there's just nothing to it. Um, so it just shows you that you need a lot of elements to create something that works. And this is why I was saying, you know, you need to give yourself a pat on the back if you set out to do what you need to do, because this has done that. It just needs tweaking. Or the next level needs in, or when you think about doing another one, let's think, how can we take this up a notch? But overall, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed you it. You enjoyed it. We're going to mm -hmm. keep playing, aren't we? Yeah. Um, you can take this one to bed. <laughs> you you yeah, actually can. You, don't you actually can take this to yeah. bed because you don't need dice. It's quite hard to roll dice in bed. Yeah, I mean, this does help though. Having a little it does, isn't it? But this is difficult though, isn't it? Yeah. We do this. We, we, we read this one on the sofa and then we that one in bed. That's, yeah. the, that's our love life. So you can, yeah, that's why we're so happy. <laughs> it's true. So I employ anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so what, your relationship's missing? Yeah, so <laughs> this is just relationship gals, everyone. Um, but yeah, uh, so for me, both of these have done a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. um, they both deserve merit. Let's, let's, let's keep these sort of things going, you know. We can leave our big boys to our big boys. I've still got Madeira half set up on this table. It's going to probably consume me for a very long time, but that's the job of that game. These guys have got a different job to do, and you know they do that well. And we're both enjoying yeah. it, aren't we? Yeah. We enjoy splitting everything up, um, and they do that quite nicely. Because they don't conflict. No. You, know, you, you can read both easily as well. They don't. You don't ever get confused or bothered, do you? No. We're, we're having quite fun going through one another. So, yeah. So support them um, if you manage to get a hold of this. Probably a lot of you have already played it, um, but if you haven't, then we definitely could say give it a shout. And if you have, let us know. Yeah, as always, let so us know what you think. Yeah. If there are any games that you'd like us to take a look at as well, we've got a lot of stuff coming in and we've had some really good feedback from our live session where I kicked Alice's ass. Um, just so we've got a lot of stuff that's being promoted that's going to be coming in, that's going to be new. So we're looking forward to having a go and giving you guys a bit of a review on what we think about some new things that are coming in, some smaller games, a few bigger ones as well. Um, hopefully we get to do some more live playthroughs now that the lockdown is coming sure and sure. We're hoping to be able to get people around as well and do live sessions with lots of people here playing bigger games. Um, this is the reason we've kept things to games that are you know can be played with two players or single player. You didn't have to just deal with me then. No, because certain games need more than two players. You need quite a lot of players, and we don't want to give we don't want to give games an injustice just because they need more people because it's not their fault at this time. You know, mm. it's not. So we're looking forward to playing those games as well. So lots of new things coming up. I think Alice has done a good job being in the hot seat. It's been quite relaxing, really, actually. So I, yeah, but you did give me the option. Do you want to ask the questions and leave? And I was like... That's fine. No. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet, guys. I'm not ready. <laughs> we'll all be ready. When the camera's off, I talk too much. When the camera's on, I'm shy. Why do you think I do all the reading? I, I, so I, I'm a journal. Up? You did read the journal, actually. Mm. Enjoy it. So enjoy yourselves, read the journal. It's not um it's not overly exciting journal, but it does the job, doesn't it? Right. But yeah, it's very teenage. <laughs> it is funny though, it is actually quite a funny journal to be yeah, honest, yeah. isn't it? Doesn't make you laugh. Mm. So um Ghosty White for Legacy, you've driven off two thumbs up from me, thumbs up from Alice. Keep these sort of things going, people, and we shall see you again at some point. Hopefully soon with another game review. Have we got one? Lined up. Just look around you. Look around you. We're hoping to play a lot more. Watch this space. Yeah, watch this space. You'll see it more popping up as you go. But um, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Had a laugh. And uh, always get in touch if you'd like to. We like to hear what everyone else thinks. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you're also around and want to be on the show because for our lives, we want to get people involved. Yeah. Definitely. So we're looking for all that sort of stuff. We're going to take it up a notch just like these guys. Thank you very much from me and Alice. Bye. Bye. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Total pit. <laughs>